Welcome back and congratulations for making it this far. We've gone through the basics of Blender and all the crazy stuff that it can do. And so now let's actually make some stuff and take Suzanne and get it ready to be 3D printed. We're going to repair it. Then we're going to add crazy cool effects to it, export it out and get it ready to be sliced and 3D printed. So the challenge to make sure we're all on the same page before we dive into the next section is make sure that all of our blenders and all of our monkeys are set up the same. So to do that, I want to challenge you. I'll read you off the challenge and then just pause the video and try and do it yourself. Um, and then I'll also show you how to do it if you are stuck. So what the challenge is, is I want you to scale your Suzanne monkey to roughly 75 millimeters tall on the Z axis. And then I want you to rotate your Suzanne 45 degrees on the X axis in the negative direction. So negative 45 degrees on the X axis. And then I want you to move her origin point to the lowest vertice on the back of her head. So that is the challenge for you. So go ahead and pause the video and try that out. All right, welcome back. So um, hopefully you took a few minutes to just try it out. I know it can be scary, but it really does help with your learning process. And so um, if you are like me when I was learning code, I was like, I have no idea how to do this. Teacher, just tell me what to do. <laughs> this is for you. So uh, first thing we want to do is scale Suzanne to roughly 75 millimeters tall. And there's a few ways you could have done it. You could have gone into edit mode and kind of scaled it up and kept checking, you know, did I, did I scale the monkey upright? And notice I had the proportional editing on, so I'm going to turn that off. And so we could, you know, change it to 3D cursor and scale the monkey and then flat back into uh, object mode and said, okay, 60, you know, go a little bit higher. Okay. There. A little too much. Okay, so that's one way you could have done it. And that's totally cool. Another way you could do it is just scale in object mode. And this is kind of what I do a lot of times is just scale in. Notice I have proportional editing turned on with this little ball. So I'm just gonna hit escape, turn that off and hit S to scale and just kind of eyeball the dimensions over there to the far right and try to get it close to 75. You can even hold shift, you know, and just really dial it in. That's probably what I would do most of the time. But notice your scale is all out of whack and super extra bonus points for anyone who noticed that or who did that. Um, if you changed it, uh, like I probably would, um, I would just reset the scale, just control A and do scale and notice that'll just reset it. So that's a really easy way to do that. And you know, you have exactly 75 millimeters tall. So that's what I would have done. And then I want you to rotate Suzanne on the X negative 45 degrees. And there's multiple ways you could do this. One way is to go into edit mode and rotate your monkey on the X axis, and then just type in negative 45. And that would lock that in right there. Notice it says it up here in the top, negative 45. And you could just click to confirm and then go back to object mode. And that would be that. Um, another way that you can do it um, just this is really just show you there's so many different ways you can do things in Blender. You could have just said rotate X on the negative 45. And we've done the same thing, but we have rotation added to our object here uh, since we did it in object mode. And again, you could just reset that if you felt like it. You can just reset with control A and that will reset the rotation. And now everything's zeroed out and everything is the scale ratios to one. So that's another way you could do it. And then the last one, which is move the origin point to the bottom or the back bottom most point of the head. So one way you could do it is try and shift right click and kind of get really close to that and then move the origin to the 3D cursor. That would definitely work, but it wouldn't be exact. So one way to do that is to go into edit mode and actually select the face. So I'm just gonna hit one to go into point mode or vertex and then just select that, that actual point right here. And then we can do shift S to move the 3D cursor to the thing we have selected. And now we know it's exactly on the lowest point there. And now if we switch to object mode, we can take the origin, set origin and place this origin to the 3D cursor. Bloop. And there we go. So now we've got an origin uh, set at the base of our head. We've got a monkey that is uh, 63 actually. Uh, so, so that is a little confusing, but uh, um, it's still, you know, the, the height of our monkey is still 75 millimeters tall, uh, but 
it doesn't read 75 here anymore because we rotated it. So um, that could have been a little tricky. So sorry if I confused you there. But um, but really, all in all, I just want you all to have a new Suzanne that is uh, set to your scale at a scale ratio of one and that you know how to move your point to the bottom of the object here. And so if you had issues with that, do not worry. It is a lot to take in and I've thrown a lot at you. So good job if you've made it this far. And now let's start making stuff and we're going to repair Suzanne and add some cool effects and get her 3D printed. So let's go ahead and dive into the next section where we're going to talk about the 3D printing toolbox. And I think you're going to love it. Let's do it. 